everyone. This is ICO Talk. My name is Yelena. Today, my guest is Daniel Girdia, a founder of uh, Arcona. Hello, Daniel. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Elena. Thank you. Thank you for this invitation. Thanks. Okay. So, please, first of all, tell us about Arcona and what is the main idea behind the project? So, the main idea of Arcona is that Arcona is a global augmented reality ecosystem built on blockchain technology. So in this ecosystem, we are merging the real world and the virtual one into a single information environment uh, where everyone will be able to interact with augmented reality in the real world locations. So it means that uh, we will be able to change our surroundings in the real world on fly uh, by adding here in this real world some virtual objects that will, will be linked directly to the real world in this real world. Uh, it will be the combination of two two worlds. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are the main challenges on the market that that can be solved with the help of your project? Uh, now look. So millions of the people today have the access to augmented reality because all the big players like uh, Google, like Apple, they already launched their platforms and these uh, features and the tools are already integrated in their mobile phones. It means that all the owners of the uh, Google phones, uh, and well, I mean the Android phones and the Apple phones, they have the access to augmented reality. But this is a personal experience. So everything that they can do is just uh, create their, uh, uh, their content and put it right in front of them. And nobody can see it, only they can see it. So it means that there is no single information space for all these users where they will be able to interact together and simultaneously with augmented reality. Mm -hmm. And more, they cannot, they cannot today uh, interact with this in the real world. So, and what we're doing, we are solving this problem. So uh, I can say that it will be the future social network in augmented reality. So this is kind of aspect can be. And are there any uh, other projects on the market that do the same thing as you? Um, or you're absolutely unique in this way? We need to understand that uh, technically it is uh, very hard to work with augmented reality outdoor. All the existing platforms that allow us to interact with augmented reality, they are mostly uh, working indoor because uh, outdoor, it, the surroundings are changing. I mean, the sunlight is changing. Uh, the grass can be green, then the next day it will fall the snow, and so on. So the change, the environment is changing. And uh, it's, very, it's an issue in augmented reality to work outdoor. So we know about this because of our background. So we are developing our own platform uh, based on our own computer vision system that we already have. So And these tools will allow us to interact uh, in the real world with the changing surroundings, with the changing environment in the real world. So uh, I hope that there are different companies that are trying to do the same, but uh, we are uh, several years in front of them because we are developing this platform already four years. So when the augmented reality market was zero, we already started developing all this, pro uh, this platform. So this is yeah, the, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask points. you next. Yes, yes, about the history of the project. Yeah, uh, tell us, please, uh, uh, some words about the history. When was it launched, and um, who's got the idea of the project, and why did you decide to to uh, develop this particular idea? Uh, well, we started the project uh, more than four years ago. The company was launched in uh, 2013, and we started developing the projects in augmented reality using the third parties. I mean, the third uh, the other platforms that are existing in the world today. Okay. Uh, what was the idea? We were developing, we're still developing these uh, applications. So we are rebuilding the missing architectural masterpieces in the world, in the tourist market. So to give you an idea, if you're a tourist, you are coming on site, you see the ruins, you're trying to imagine how these ruins were in the past, and we are giving the tourists this possibility, they are launching our application, they are looking around, they okay. see the real world location, but when they are looking on the ruins, instead of ruins, they see those castles and churches that are destroyed. We are showing them how it was in the past. So at that time, we understood that existing platforms do not work outdoor. We understood this castle is very hard to put this castle right uh, on this location. So then we started developing our own platform to be able to put these objects outdoor. 
And then we understood that uh, we find we understood that there is no single information space for this, for the for us to inter to interact with. So we would love to combine all our projects in one in one platform. So thus we came to the idea uh, that we need the to to generate the augmented reality layer on the entire surface of the planet. Why not? Mm -hmm. So. We are very ambitious and we know how to do it, why not? So the platform will allow this. So the platform is the first step to disrupt the world with augmented reality technology, and we can do it. Okay, okay, and now a few words about the team of the project. Yeah, so uh, we are the four founders in the team. Uh, we are 12, I mean, the whole team is 12 people mm -hmm. with the developers, uh, with a computer vision system specialists, uh, for, for sure, our CTO and uh, our project lead, Ilya Karguzalov, is our project lead. Is his idea, and uh, we are following him. Uh, the founders of the company are working together more than ten years. Uh, they had several businesses together, so so they were founders in different businesses, and uh, so they are working together for th several years. I I joined the team uh, more than one half. One, than one year and a half ago. So I joined the team as a business angel, very active business angel. So I bought a stake of the, of the company. And uh, now I'm leading the company also So because I fell in love. Uh, this is the only thing I have today. This is just this idea and just this project. And uh, I'm very impressed with it. So I'm, I'm doing everything I can to make it okay. happen. Okay. It's already happened. <laughs> okay, great. Now, let's now stick to your ICO. Um, please tell us, first of all, what is the soft cap and the hard cap of the main sale? So the soft cap is 1 million because mm -hmm. it is enough to, uh, to, de to develop the platform for us. Uh, the hard cap is 50 million mm -hmm. because we are going to attract the audience to create the community of the project. Uh, we have the experience uh, like Pokemon Go, right? Uh, this project that attracted uh, hundreds of millions of the users yeah. just investing in the marketing, uh, 30 of, or 40 millions of dollars. So we're going to do the same. So to create the community of the project and uh, to make it live again. And, uh, and just in more details about the roadmap, uh, the, the key milestones of development. Yeah, right. So now we have the computer vision system ready. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only for internal use now. So we are going to pack it into SDK the next year. Uh, during the first quarter of the 2018, so the next year, we are going to launch the marketplace. In this marketplace, the users will be able to share the content. So the developers will, uh, and the three artists will bring the content into the marketplace. They will create it. And the users will be able to buy this, this content and to use it uh, in, the, uh, in the ecosystem on the platform, right, in Arcona. Okay. And then um, we're going to launch the AR Viewer, our application that will uh, show us this mixed reality in this real world. Uh, during the 2000, oh, next, uh, after we finish the ICO, it will be in March. So in March, uh, we launch the auctions. During these auctions, you will be able to, to buy the digital land. So I would like to mention about the digital land, that this layer that mm -hmm. we created, we call it digital land. Digital land. Because mm -hmm. you can, yeah, so you can buy digital land in any part of the world. Okay. Because, so you can, being in Moscow or in Singapore, you can buy the land in uh, Tokyo or in the center of New York and put any object, three objects remotely on this space. You know, the people who will pass through New York, this center, they will see this object directly in that space. So we invented the new type of land. <laughs> Great, that uh, sounds absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic, but yeah. it works. So it's real. It's uh, real because it's uh, not the virtual world, but it's real one. Just imagine that uh, we have the real uh, world the, digital, the land of the real world, and we put above the, the digital lens. It will be linked directly to the real world. So you can sell it. We can sell it and you can buy the, and become the owner of the digital land. So we launched the auctions just the, for token holders during March. Um, they will be able to buy the most sweetest locations in the world because we are starting with the 10 big cities, the centers of the 10 big cities in the world, mm -hmm. like Tokyo, Beijing, New Moscow? York, Paris. You can buy the land. Yeah, sure. Why not? And uh, you can buy the land 
in the center of these cities and uh, then we go listed in uh, april we're already uh, going to the exchanges and uh, all the uh, other users will be able to take part in the auctions but first mm -hmm. it will be done just for the token holders mm -hmm. so during the 2018 we will digitalize these 10 cities and uh, in 2019 uh, all the platform like uh, a completed project it will be launched mm -hmm. okay okay and now in more details about the uh, your tokens what are the key benefits uh, for your token holders so the most uh, big the biggest benefit for the tokens for the token holders is that uh, there's a possibility to become the owner of the digital land mm -hmm. so only with the tokens as our internal currency uh, you will be able to buy the digital land inside the ecosystem you can create your own business on this land right so you can earn money inside the ecosystem so please don't look at our token as an uh, uh, speculation tool no please so you can use the token inside the ecosystem to generate the revenues this is the main idea because mm -hmm. uh, imagine that you can launch a business on another continent being in russia you can launch the project in uh, in, in europe and it can be the same project like we do now imagine that you can rebuild uh in greece some monuments like we did and uh ask the tourists for a fee if they want to see this closed content mm -hmm. so you rebuild some forums in italy right yeah. and the people are coming to the place they see the invitation they launch uh your small application inside the ecosystem Marcona, uh -huh. and they pay a small fee to you and they are looking at the content so this is a working business today because we are doing this already today right right mm -hmm. so this is the, the the biggest benefit biggest benefit for the token holders to become the landowners mm -hmm. okay i see okay uh, let's uh, just for a second imagine the negative scenario if you don't achieve even the soft cap um, what will happen with the project? Do you consider many, maybe any other uh, traditional sources of crowdfunding? Yeah, we, the first is that we already raised in the close pre-sale, we mm -hmm. raised more than $605,000, right? $650,000. Mm -hmm. So uh, now our hard cap is $1 million, so soft we are, we are very, yeah, soft cap. So we are sure that we can reach the soft cap. Sure, yeah. If even now, if even now for sure there are different other possibilities to attract the, the investments so what the, why what the same what we are doing before the ico so we are not going to stop we are working already more than four years and we had different difficult situations during our road roadmap so nothing can stop us never surrender okay that's great and what do you personally think about the future of the ico market in the world um Depends on how it will be used. It will be used, if it will be used just as source to get the the money. I think this process will uh, not have the very good future. I think because we would love to uh, use it as the uh, community building. Because the main idea of our project is to create the community. Because the main force of the any ecosystem is the community. Mm -hmm. So. This is the power of any ecosystem. So if well, all of us will use this as the creating of the uh, community, not only attracting the, uh, the funds, so I think uh, it has a good future. I think. Okay, well, just to sum it up, uh, in one or two sentences, in very, very brief, why shall I invest in Arcona? Because uh, the main idea is to become the landowner in the, of any part of the planet, uh, you can create your business remotely. You can build business around your creativity. So all the creative people who today can provide some creativity to the world, we give them this tool to get to the wider audience and build the business around it. So now all the 3D artists and the developers can monetize their creativity and to get to the wider audience. So we are opening the new tool for the creative people. Okay, okay, Daniel, then thank you so much for this interview and for being with us today. Thank you, Elena. Thank you very much. Please enjoy. Thank you, and I remind you that today my guest was Daniel Girdia, founder of Arcona. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more interesting videos. Bye-bye.